Hey gang, Sean here with Sean and Don Ventures. Now I'm sure you clicked on this video because you're interested in some sort of truck camper here. So before we kind of talk about what we're going to do here, I'm going to review which canopy camper I'm about ready to build this truck out with. Um, plus the entire process it takes to build out a truck to accept a canopy camper. So, so the canopy campers we're going to look at are the Kimbo canopy camper, the Alucab canopy camper, the Go Fast camper, the Skinny Guy camper, and the um, AT Overland Atlas camper. That's a lot of campers to talk to. In addition, I'm going to talk through the entire process it takes to take a stock vehicle. This is no longer stock and how to get it ready for one of these campers. So, but before we get into that, a little background on us. Hi gang, my name is Sean, my wife's name is Dawn, and we both live in the Pacific Northwest here in Washington State. Of course we both live, we're married together, right, dummy? <laughs> so let's talk through about why we got involved in this. So we've always been outdoor people, we've always enjoyed camping, always enjoyed getting outside. Um, during the last couple years, we actually found our reason to get outside even more. I think we all know why. Um, that started us down a journey, um, kind of figuring out what we wanted to do. So we went ahead and ordered an adventure van and started to build that thing out. And if you know anything about the ordering process, that was over a year uh, in the build. While that was going on, this truck used to be a work truck. I mean, I used to just drive a daily driver and it used to be my work truck. I, I lifted it a little bit. I did a little few things to it. Um, added a max module roof rack, put a roof nest tin on there, and we used that, and we loved it. I mean, we loved getting it, but we're getting older too, and we were like, we were like really waiting for our van, and our thought was, hey, we're just going to keep this for just like our friends to use, our kids to use for us, and they can use a tent, we'll be in the van. Well, not so fast. Boy, the overlanding bug really bit us hard. Not only... <laughs> Do we go out and use our van all the time that we bought an off-grid trailer to take our family out and we were like we really want to get out there deeper so we started to change the kit on this and that's where we're at here um, before i go any further now i would really appreciate it if you give us a like potentially give us a comment down below and consider subscribing to our channel we post videos every week sometimes build videos like this a lot of times just getting out and sharing our experiences there youtube algorithm is super hard to get any traction if you're a newer channel so anything you can do there i would really appreciate also if you're watching this my plan is to go through what it's taken with a professional outfitter to get it to this point i'm going to share the cost with you why i did that why i did this a lot of stuff i'm doing you don't have to do but a lot you're going to have to do if you're going to accept a camper like this all right whatever we're going to put on there so i do plan on the next video to kind of go through that also as we build out i'll share that entire process even kidding out the entire thing from my recovery gear that i use and why i'm using it different things like that, different drawer systems we're putting in and why we're doing that, how we like to cook, you know, what we use to cook, all those little tips that make it better for you, we plan on sharing in this series. Plus, my wife will be here to talk about why she wants this too. All right, let's talk through the campers now. So first, the campers that we're looking at, the Kimbo camper. So if you're not familiar with this camper, uh, there's a channel out there that's really big in promoting it. They actually ride it on a Toyota here. It's a sealed camper, so it's a fully sit-in bed camper that sits on it. A fully enclosed habitat, no canvas anywhere around. You can customize the build. Um, you can go in there and have it pre-built for you. You can take it on and off as you see fit, which makes it pretty nimble there. So that camper I'm looking at, that camper I didn't go with. And here's why. I have a van now. Now, if I didn't have the van and I was kind of like, hey, I kind of want something where I can maybe have a Tacoma and have a sealed, a, heel, a sealed habitat and maybe something lighter, maybe what I would do is have that Kimbo camper. I would take it off during the, uh, the summer months. I'd probably put on a mid-height uh, bed rack back there and a roof, like some sort of a, uh, rooftop tent that I can use and I can have my, my truck kind of be two seasons. But I do have a van, I do have an adventure, tra or an off-road trailer. And so that's not really what I was looking for. It's too big, it kind of, you know, duplicates the van all together for itself. So that's gonna leave us with the Go Fast Camper, the Skinny Guy cam uh, Camper, the AT Habitat, right? Not the, not the Habitat, but the pop-up one there, that Atlas, and then the Alucab. 
now uh, canopy camper now if you've been following my channel you might have seen one of these trailers that I, or these uh, systems that I've been featuring and kind of drooling on quite a bit there so let's talk about the skinny guy camper so this one's a pretty cool design you get to go in the rear of your truck you have a full sealed solution too and if you're not familiar you pop up and you have a traditional camp like a like a canvas camp that's fully exposed to the sun ton of space in there like these are really good i think for well they call them skinny guy campers but i think you can really fit a full family in here so if you're like an adult couple and you had a couple kids i think this set, set setup would work really well for you some concerns i have about this camper is that it's full canvas to the sky right so i live in the pacific northwest which means guess what it rains all the freaking time so i looked at that camper i thought about that camper quite a bit but for that obvious reason I didn't go with that camper for me. Might be a good camper for you. So that leaves the Go Fast camper, um, the, at, the, a, the AT camper, and the Alucab camper. All of these have some sort of solid roof. So on the AT camper, it's canvas on all four sides. It pops up straight and you have a vertical roof there. They have a couple different configurations you could do. On the Go Fast camper they're, and the Alucab, they're both A-frames right that pop up and you can directionalize them you have canvas on the sides um, and you can directionalize that a frame into the wind so that you don't get so much wind noise if you're camping somewhere remote so i looked at the at uh one quite a bit and they're really solid campers um in fact the guys that i'm uh, working with on this they actually recommend those campers quite a bit and uh, they're solid campers they they look good they're skinny um, but what I was really concerned with on that is, well, I had my heart set on one, and I'll tell you why in a bit, um, but really the canvas all the way around. And I know on them, when they pop up, they have like this modular, like on the ends, like it's like a piece of material metal that folds forward to kind of give rigidity to the wall. But I'm just thinking, like, how good is that in the wind if it's really whipping? it's still gonna get that canvas whip. And, and even in the other two uh, canopy campers that I'm talking through, you can still get that, but because they are wedge style, you can directionalize it into the wind and hopefully have a decent night's sleep, right? So uh, for that reason, I said, okay, I don't know if that's the right setup for me. In fact, I know it's not, so that one's off. So now we have the Go Fast Camper and the Alucab Camper. So the Go Fast Camper, if you're familiar with them, they're made in uh, Montana, uh, American made here. They're, they've been crushing it lately on sales. They are a very nice uh, canopy, canopy camper there. They kind of complete the truck. They, they look great on Gladiators, on Tacomas, on almost any rig there. Um, they work great for someone that's just getting into this and trying to figure it out. The Alucab camp, uh, Canopy Camper, is made in uh, South Africa. Um, it is one of the original safari style canopy campers out there. Their climate is really rough. Um, it is obviously based on that rough condition. They have a pretty long track record for proving that they can handle really tough environments out there. So I was going, what do I want to go with? Do I want to go with simple and lightweight and relatively, I guess, a little bit cheaper? Or do I want to go with something more fancy a little more rugged the alucab and so drum roll please you probably guessed it i'm going with the alucab canopy camper so if you watch my channel you realize i've been watching this canopy camper for a long time so let me tell you the why first off i fell if i'm 50 now so i fell in love with toyota tacomas back when um uh, back to the Future came out. You know, at the end scene where he had the, they weren't even uh, Tacomas back then, back when he had the Toyota lifted up with the, the KC lights up there. Mm. Fell in love with this vehicle. Always dreamed of having one. Um, this is a 2012 TRD Sport that I've had. Um, I bought it brand new, I've converted it. It's, it's got a lot of work done on it already, which obviously, and I'm gonna talk about that in another video after this. Um, so that was what started me out. And then the old Toyota Land Cruiser Safari styles that you would see in the 90s um, that had the A-top pop 
Um, you'd even see them on Land Rover stuff. That rugged look, that boxier look, which I love in this Gen 2 Toyota still has that more boxier look for me. Not boxier, smooth lines, but you know what I mean. That, that, could, that really detailed look that fits the camper, the camper right. So I've always loved those. And albeit most uh, Land Rovers and um, when they had the Canon campers come on, they actually have an Alu cab put on it. So for that reason, boy, I was really dialed into Alu cab and stuff, and I really like the fit and finish of how it's done. So and, and the style of it, I think it's going to look great on the truck and the function of it. So let's talk about what's going to come next, and this is why you're going to subscribe. Regardless if you're interested in an Alu cab building out a canopy camper, you're going to really want to know all the ins and outs. So I am working with Mule Expedition Outfitters in Issaquah, Washington. They've done a bunch of work already on the truck. So I've been working with them. I've already placed the order for the canopy camper. So all and everything else that's coming here. So the canopy camper, they believe the complete order will be installed. February, maybe March timeframe, maybe February, it's just supply chain with some of the stuff that going, goes in there. So on the next video, I'm going to share all the things that I've had done with Mule to build for the canopy camper, some things that are required like suspension and springs to hold it, other things like, you know, bumpers and winches that aren't required. So based on how you're going to use your vehicle, I'll share all the costs and why I'm doing it, right? So that way you know, am I installing it or are they installing it? Like the light, the dynamics, I installed those, right? I put a little switcher in there. So I'll share all those costs with you. I am a DIY type guy. I'll, I'll try things. I watch a lot of YouTube, probably of how you are, figure out, make decisions. Um, and so I like to share that information, right? Um, so next video will have all of that. The Alu cab that I'm gonna have also is gonna be professionally built. So similar to the van i want it to be everything that i'm ready to go so we're going to have a heating system in there we're going to have a red arc power management we're going to have 270 awning we're going to have goose gears uh system in there we're going to have a fridge in there red arc power management system if i didn't already say that the works it's a full send build in a professional model there so I'll go through all of that and what it costs. Now what's really, and then I'm, how I'm gonna equip it. Like how am I gonna fill this thing all up? I'm gonna share all that with you too, right? Fill it up, then we'll start doing long-term reviews. How is it working for us? Like is this stuff the right for us? How we plan on using this with our van. So we like to get out and use the van for long-term travel and stuff, but on quick weekend getaways, um, especially where we're not quite sure where, where we want to go. We don't have a destination of mine and we have a lot of really bushy trails here. I would love to take the truck, right? And we would have the similar experience that we have in the van with the basic creature comforts that we want, albeit heat, cooking, and toilet without having to get out of the canopy camper, right? So that is the creature comforts that gets me there and gets my wife there every week. Also, if you have a wife or if you're a female watching this, right, I'll have my wife come on, Dawn, and she'll share why she likes this too and how she's using it with some of her must-haves too. So you'll want to uh, stay tuned for that as well. So next up, next video, build-out series that's happening here. Um, oh, that's already happened. Following that, then we'll start taking you through the next process as we're heading it fitted on. That process will share all the costs, on all the specs, how it's working all the good the bad and the ugly with that guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you really consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment to this video if you made it this far for sure remember next time i hope to see you back here on this channel but more importantly i hope to see you on the trails thanks guys